Good evening. The news summary for this Thursday, 22nd December. Construction work on Lagok Dam has been completed. PUC is starting its attempts to fill the dam with water from two sources. These are the Odas and Lunyo rivers and the Osho Dam, where there are two filled, where there were two filled attempts due to leaks in the pipe. The Lagok Dam project started in 2018 and it has been nearly five years in the making. The impounding work will be done in phases and the next attempt will be done on 26 December. If everything goes well, the Lagok Dam will be filled by the end of March next year. With Christmas only a few days away, many people have made their last minute dash to town for Christmas shopping. Products, uh, products in uh, shops are at the best prices and businesses are selling on discounts, especially for this festive season. People are happy to celebrate without COVID-19 restrictions once again. Businesses, businesses are equally thrilled with the sales. Since this week, shops around town and some other districts are also being kept open for late night shoppers. SS, SSPCA is currently making a loss from the annual sterilization program. Jimmy Marie, who is an animal welfare officer at SSPCA, says the money spent to buy medication needed to sterilize the dogs, sorry, sterilize the animals, is more than what they make from the program, and this is also impacting on their daily operation. Mr. Marie says most of their money is used to purchase food for the 200 dogs and 50 cats that are currently staying at their facility. He says animal food is quite expensive and is asking individuals and organizations that can help to do so. Food nowadays, with all the problems in the world, especially with the COVID, everything went up. Transportation, everything, so they charge a bit more. What used to be 500 now is about 700, 800, 100 rupees. So we find ourselves struggling to group the money to actually pay for something uh, some of the things that we use in the shelter for the animals and this is a, a big issue that's the end of this news summary join me at eight for the news bulletin in creole until then have a pleasant evening